There's a lot of discussion about third-party off-brand batteries, and we're going to get into it here real quick because Waitley just happened to reach out to me and say, hey, we've got a 6-amp-hour DeWalt-compatible battery we want you to take a look at. Put it through the ringer, see what you think. So we're going to take a look at That's this thing right here. Uh, you can see the whole build quality on it. It's got USB-A on this side, USB-C on this side. So you can plug it right into like your phone charger or whatever and charge the battery. You could also charge your phone from the battery. It's in and out. Uh, it's got a uh, you know battery meter there on the back. As you can see, this one is fully depleted. We've been using it. Uh, standard DeWalt style kind of push button there. Good, good build quality. I, I like the build quality, but let's see how it performs because the reality is if it doesn't hold up, it doesn't hold up. So we did a quick test. Let's jump into that. Now you can see in the log, there's a large knot right there. So we're gonna reposition this and see if we get a different result. failed. So I'm going to go right near it.
All right, so let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly on this, all right? The good is, well, <laughs> there's no two ways to slice it. It's not expensive. <laughs> In fact, it's it's beyond reasonable. I was I was real hesitant, and I've been vocal about being hesitant about third-party batteries. But when it comes to this level of price, like you're looking at $80 for two of them, 20% off coupon. Now, this is the, the Waitley Plus. I know we've talked about other ones, but this is the plus higher output, the whole nine yards. Plus, it comes with those uh, the protectors there for the battery cover. I usually throw those things away. However, apparently they got slots in them. So you can, there was a picture of it here somewhere. So you can put it on your belt. Here you go. You can put it on your belt and you can hold extra batteries. Not something I particularly would do, but maybe you would like it. Uh, you could probably like run a screw through it, mount them on the wall and use it as a wall holder. Anyway, point is you're getting two of these batteries with full USB, uh, six amp hour batteries coming in at, with the 20% off, you're looking at uh, just under $64. Now remember you're getting two of these, so you're getting each battery for essentially $32. Here's where this becomes relevant. If you look at the DeWalt, it is currently, now this is on Amazon, ships by Amazon, sold by Amazon, Amazon's authorized distributor. It's selling for $66, which means these batteries combined are still less. It means you're getting one battery for less than half the cost of a DeWalt 5 amp hour XR battery. Now that's the price on Amazon. Of course, if you buy it over at Ace, it's gonna be a bit more, $150. And you may wanna have a chat with a personal injury lawyer at that point because that's a crime. Anyway, the point is this, they, they, these are, from all, from all my testing, and using it, I've used them as a battery, I used one as a battery bank, I used one for testing. I, I ran it for, with the fan, with the DeWalt high-speed fan, I ran it for, oh my gosh, was it five or six hours? It was, it was, it was just under, it was just under five hours. Because I remember I ran the, the, uh, the DeWalt battery for five hours, and I remember thinking, it's a five amp hour battery, and basically you get one, and it was on full speed, and you get one hour per amp hour out of that. And I thought that was a good way to judge it. This did not run six hours. It didn't quite run five hours. It, it wasn't far behind. I think it was 15, 20 minutes under. It was really close, honestly. Uh, considering the time span, and there may have been variables in here, but it was it was in my studio. Uh, all the doors were shut. It wasn't like it was fighting uh, wind and whatnot. Uh, but the point is, it's not the same level quality as the Dewalt. All right, uh, you know the it's it's, and, and then you saw it in in, in doing the testing there. It it seemed uh, with the basic stuff like running the three inch screws or even the longer screws and stuff it, it handled that just fine like no noticeable difference but when we ran the <laughs> that giant bolt uh it had some issues now i did as you see i, I moved in the in the video because it hit a uh it hit a knot and i i thought okay well, let's try it somewhere else and it did okay in a softer piece of part of the wood but I moved the, uh, put the DeWalt battery back on, tried it in the same spot. It did struggle a little bit, but not as much. And it was able to overcome it and finish it. And this is the thing. These batteries, this is, we gotta have an honest discussion here. Okay, if you're gonna buy these, here's what you need to know. They are not calling up DeWalt and being like, hey, can we get your codes and all your software kind of stuff that you use for the battery to talk to the tool? And DeWalt's, of course, not going to give them that. Nobody's going to give them that. So unless they're reverse engineering that code, which would be hacking and a good way to go to jail, and I don't think they're actually doing that, uh, what, you're all, what you're doing is basically doing direct uh, electric pass-through. So basically it becomes a dumb device versus a smart device. Now, if you're running a brushed tool, probably doesn't matter. If you're running uh, one of the less expensive, even the basic brushless, the mid-tier DeWalt stuff, probably doesn't matter. But if you're running the XR level, if you're running the core tools, it probably does matter. But if you're running some of the tertiary XR stuff, then that means like you have like your core, which is your first level, and then you have your secondary tools. And it, let me back up here. So core would be like the stuff that people use every day, drills, impacts, hammer drills, recip saws, circ saws, those will compromise the core tools. A tertiary tool would be something like 
uh, you know, uh, a job site blower and a light and a, a grease gun, that kind of stuff. They're much less likely to have the smart chips in it where they actually talk to the battery and the battery tells it how it's doing, how it's feeling. And it's like, no, we need more juice. They, these higher end uh, tools will do that. But for the, the medium and lower tier, probably not as much of an issue. Now you're like, well, it doesn't give you the equivalent of six amp hours. It doesn't even, almost doesn't give you the, the equivalent of five amp hours. Half the price, less than half the price. I, and it's usable as a battery bank. I would say, as far as a recommendation, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, you have to buy this. I'm not gonna tell you that you should buy this. I am gonna say that, uh, and th remember this is, a, this is a sponsored video. And uh, the, uh, if you want a battery that is like, how do I think about this? Let's be honest. I wouldn't buy these as my core batteries. I would have several core top of the line DeWalt batteries. But if I wanted needed extra batteries, I would I would strongly consider these half the price. I would have to consider them, yeah. Uh, and, I, and I'm a big fan of the extra usability. My family and I, we have like our uh, skill batteries and they come like that from the factory and we use those all the time to the point where I have to go and hunt my wife or daughter down because they've taken my batteries and I need to use my tools. Uh, but it, it does have a use in the shop. I charge my cell phone. I could charge a camera off of it. I could do all sorts of stuff, run a, a radio or something, stream some music to a, you know, a speaker or whatnot. So there are uses for something like this and I would definitely consider it. One thing I would say though is I probably wouldn't charge these unattended, whereas I might feel safe leaving a DeWalt on the charger overnight, not as much with this. I'm not saying that I know anything. I'm not saying we've tested this and we know that's an issue, but on my personal recommendation, that's where I stand on this. I, I wanna thank Waitley uh, for sponsoring this video. I hope they are <laughs> happy they did. Uh, but uh, I gotta be honest about this also, I don't know, this, one, this one's not as bad. The other one, it seems like the little button there is kind of bubbly, it's a little bit different. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Uh, on this one, it's fine. Anyway, good build quality, good amount of power for the price, tremendous amount of power. Uh, let me know what you think about third-party batteries because until these companies really start talking to the, uh, and, and finding some way to work with the original manufacturer so that they can get that level of communications down, uh, they're always going to be kind of, in my mind, they're always going to be stuck at this like, okay, not my primary battery, but maybe a secondary kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think down below while you're down there. Don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on. I just wanted to show you a portion of the fan test. Because of the length of this, I was trying to do a, a time lapse and it ran so long my camera actually overheated so i don't have the entirety of it but i timed it using my security camera which detects motion hence the piece of tape on the phone and it would tell me when the motion started and when the motion stopped and the difference in time was about 15 minutes the dewalt ran for five hours almost exactly and the waitley ran for about 15 minutes less than that